Uh, hello, I am Tone Tilia. I am the director and co-writer of uh, Baby Dark. My name is Anna Sabib Streit, and I'm the actress in Baby Dyke. Hvordan vil du identificere dig selv? Altså, jeg gider ikke rigtig sådan skilt mig, så altså, jeg synes, at labels er til sylde og sådan, jeg vil <laughs> Jeg vil bare gerne se som normal. Sylde <laughs> tøjsklæs, <laughs> det er det næste skilt, hvor der bare står. Ja, <laughs> Må jeg spørge dig om noget andet sammen? Er det her første gang, du skal til en queerfest? Altså, jamen, jeg var faktisk med til at arrangere Gay Pride Fest på min efterskole sammen med min kæreste, Rosa. Åh! Oh. <laughs> altså, du var aldrig rigtig kæreste med hende. Hvad? Du slog op efter to uger, gjorde hun ikke? Øh, nej. Det gjorde hun, skal du sige det nu? Fordi jeg slog op, man. Ja, lad skal du ikke gå rundt og sige, at de er kæreste, når jeg overhovedet ikke er? Hi and welcome to the 34th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wuttig and today I'm here with director Tone Ortilje and actress Anna Zabib Streitz to talk about their film Baby Letter. Hi, Hi, welcome to the festival. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Yes, I enjoyed the film a lot. There's very like a very cool dynamic, and I think a lot of it uh, is kind of transported between that sort of interplay between the actors, sort of uh, in between you and and Levi. Yeah. And um, maybe you could tell us how you how you sort of plan those scenes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, I noticed, um, I knew I wanted to make a film about this sibling dynamic. And then I noticed, like, right away in the casting, we made all these, like, pair castings where I tried different people. And when Levi and Anna met, I could just instantly tell this chemistry. And also, because uh, I think Anna and you thought that Levi was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, oh, I follow yeah. them on, them on yeah. Instagram and stuff. And uh, I was like, this is the dynamic I'm yeah, looking yeah, for. Yeah. <laughs> and then we, we spent like a lot of time um, preparing and yeah. like building up the backstory. And we used like this improvisation techniques to make like a lot of scenes from the backstories of the character. So we like improvised for days in my yeah. apartment with weird sibling. Uh, can you remember? Yeah. I remember. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> But it was good. Uh, yeah. Can you can you elaborate a little? I mean, that's, that's pretty interesting. What what what's the kind of backstory you, you came up with? Like? Um, I mean, it was it was a lot of things. Um, yeah. For example, there's this one scene where Fred meets um, the ex girlfriend, and I knew that she was gonna be kind of like. Um, um, kind of like Kevin, Kevin Spacey's character in Seven, oh, okay. like only shows up in one scene, but the whole film is about her. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. we spent like so much time, like we made the scene with the first kiss and when you guys broke up and how Fred felt after you broke up mm. and yeah. <laughs> and was that for you a certain dynamic that, that sort of clicked at the first moment between you and Levy? Or yeah. was it sort of... It was, it was, it felt like we knew each other okay. when we met, it, when we met, yeah, but um, yeah. it was, I don't know, it was, she's so, oh. they are so nice, yeah. and we just clicked, yeah, it was amazing, I don't know, felt like we knew each other. Okay. Yeah, Beautiful. that was just a very real sibling dynamic between you guys. Uh, yeah. 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 And there is uh, a scene that I particularly loved was the sort of pre-gaming scene where the two of them arrive at the flat yeah. and there's a circle of friends mm -hmm. and uh, I thought it was very well acted and also very well sort of composed in the, in the fact that um, we immediately at once know what, what Freda is kind of going through because she for, for anybody who's ever been young and yeah. have arrived at a party without any sort of backup, yeah. it's just it feels that that sort of tension. Yeah. 
can you tell us a little bit about how you how you got into that scene, how you want to construct it as well? Yeah, I mean the scene was actually constructed a lot in the editing, because I just I knew kind of what that I wanted the scene to be like the truth of their game and I had some like core things like I wanted Phil to say something kind of fucked up. Like I just want to be normal yeah. in front of this room of like queer people who are just trying to feel included and make kind of their own little safe space and then Phil kind of comes in with this kind of naive point of view that if you just don't put a label on yeah. yourself, no one's gonna label you. Yeah. And there's all these older queers who are like, no, that's not really how the world works. Uh, and I, I knew I wanted that, and then I, I really wanted um, Phil to be made fun of with the ex ex girlfriend thing. Um, and then we, we just had like all these these like queer non actors. Um, from a couple of them are actors, but mostly non actors. And we just like it was really cozy, and we just improvised, yeah. and there was so much material. Yeah. And then we really constructed like the narrative of the scene in post. Like we edited that scene for. Uh, do you remember it was almost like kind of like a real party? Yeah. When we shot the scene. Yeah. <laughs> it it yeah. certainly feels that way. Yeah. I mean, also with the kind of talks that are going on, yeah. because yeah. at one point there's this alteration <laughs> about sort of that one character who made out with yeah, the monogamy yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 It's, it's like, it's so always when you're at a queer party, there's yeah. someone having some kind of dispute <laughs> over something with an open relationship. Yes. It's always there. It's like a queer cliche that's so true. <laughs> And uh, afterwards, I mean, there's a club <laughs> scene, and over the course of the film, the dynamic between uh, Levi and you sort of changes. Because yeah. afterwards, you have that scene sort of in the taxi and sort of in the details. I mean, she gets thrown in water, which is kind of the, the, the focal point where it changes. Yeah. And then you sit in a taxi, and she's putting her, her, her head on your shoulder, basically. And yeah. it seems to be that, that you're much more in charge, that there's been a change, that yeah. you've sort of found your place. Mm, yeah. It, it was uh, very natural that that was going to happen. I felt like it was supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. Because, like, mm, you can, like, really not be nice to each other. But then when, I, I don't know, it just felt very natural. That was gonna happen and it was it it works I think it works yes. <laughs> yeah but there's a lot of like because uh, a lot of people see the film are like why is Levi's character so yeah. mean but for <laughs> but me that, there's so much love yeah like okay. Levi is honestly just trying to protect mm. Phil and sometimes they steps they step over some boundaries mm. or like not Natasha's character it's <laughs> Levi's the actor <laughs> anyway but but um, Natasha's like trying to protect Phil and there's mm. a lot of love in that but also some really wrong decisions yes yeah I actually I kind of had the same discussions because a lot of us actually loved the film a lot Thanks. and we had um, talks about among the crew kind of about the film and a lot of people were like oh that's so mean I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm so happy when she gets the <laughs> but I feel that way too yeah. it's very satisfying yeah. it, it is a sort of cathartic <laughs> moment almost but um, I also kind of felt that there's a lot of love you know yeah. she, when yeah. she puts the cap on her and she's like yeah, yeah. really fine like you, you can yeah. have your your moment with your sort of ex-girlfriend yeah yeah and, and it'll be fine yeah. Yeah. yeah but I don't I don't think Natasha is like mean to Phil I, well she is but it's more like they're just siblings yeah, yeah but exactly. I, I just feel like when people say that Natasha is very very rude I just think like yeah, she is, but they're, they're siblings. So yeah, do you have siblings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's how it is. Yeah, that's a natural yeah. dynamic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, Frel is in a pretty bad situation. Yeah. In the film, it's like many months ago they broke yeah, up. That's yeah, what yeah. we play with. And they were together for two weeks, yeah. and it's literally still her screensaver. Yes. So it's like she is in a desperate need yeah. of someone <laughs> to push her. Yeah, yeah. 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 And obviously, Natasha does it in the wrong way. Yeah. But in the end, it enables Frel to grow. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> there was such a difference there in the in the in the fact that there's. Um, I mean, with many of the movies, queerness sort of plays out on what? the background. Like queerness yeah. sort of plays out on the background of of straight characters. So, for example, you would have like a queer kid with straight parents, yeah. or a queer student in a sort of. Uh, straight class, mm -hmm. but with your movie, it felt like generally <laughs> yeah. all encompassing sort of a queer element. It yeah. felt like a very sort of safe space as well. Um, 
could you could you tell us a little bit more about how that felt and how you yeah. how you wanted to portray that in the movie? Yeah, I mean, for for me, it's uh, because I'm very much a part of the queer scene in in Copenhagen, and sometimes I'm like, oh shit, I have like two or three straight friends <laughs> yeah. in total, and I'm like, it does kind of feel that way, you know, like you almost forget that you are queer because everyone is around around you is so you don't feel like a minority because you surround yourself with people who yeah. kind of make you don't make you like feel othered and i really wanted to portray that feeling but i also think that like in the queer community in some parts of it there are like a lot of norms for like certain ways to behave but it's also like the, the, the queer community is so many multitudes and i, I just I'm, i'm trying to show like one part of it but yeah I, i lost i lost my track here but i think it's it's just the world that i live in yeah a lot of queer people are yes. and, and it just felt very natural to yeah. like portray that and it, it was also super nice on set because there were so many queer people on set too yeah so it was just it was what was it like for you you were like 16 and yeah in the middle of all that <laughs> and kind of came from outside yeah. of the city and yeah <laughs> i i think everything was like very new for me <coughs> It was very new, and I think you can tell in the movie a lot, because I actually was... Well... <laughs> well kind of were, yeah. I, Sort of method acting, then. Right? Yeah, but it was... It's water and the beers, though. What? It's water and the beers, not real Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not beer. It's not water, it's beer. What? It's not... It's not beer. Right, it's water. that's what I say. Yeah. But anyway, you were having a point, that was more interesting. <laughs> what were you saying? Um, But I think it was uh, it was like a good first impression of the queer environment, yeah. But it was um, I really liked that there was a lot of queer people on set as well. Just like making a queer movie with queer people yeah. makes so much sense. <laughs> yeah, obviously, it yeah. didn't it feel does. felt so natural and yep. didn't yeah. feel any in any way forced. And I think that yeah. kind of came from. That sort of work environment that yeah. you had. Right? Thanks. Uh, yeah. yeah, but it was also it was very like, okay, I'm just gonna ask these people. Hey, uh, I, I don't know if you've ever been in a movie, but you would be amazing as Natasha's <laughs> girlfriend. Can you just come? Okay, yeah. sure. Like, yeah. and it was also cool because um, some of the characters in the film, and that's also really what I'm trying to do as director, like show queer characters that can be problematic and make mistakes and hurt each other, and not just be like these perfect utopian yeah. creatures because yeah. that yeah. feels to me very not human and not very much like what my experience is. So we were, for example, making this scene with this pretty toxic French friend group that are really, really almost bullying Frel. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we were all discussing it, all the um, people in the scene, like, they were like, wow, this is like really uncomfortable and mm. this is such a not nice space to be in. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm yeah. trying to get across. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's also really important to me to say that like, people in the film are not acting themselves. Yeah. But we're all like reflecting from our own experience yeah. as queer people on the story. But yeah. I think everyone wanted to show some of the like harsher, darker sides yeah. Yeah. that everyone contains. Yes. You know, so we could like talk about it and be like, wow, this is, this is really awful that yeah. they say this. And I, I yeah. think that worked really well <laughs> for the fact that uh, queerness in the film has has a sort of complexity that that straightness in, in films has since a long time or has been built since a long time. And in that film, it kind of comes across that there's all these different elements yeah. to it. Thanks. Right? Yeah. yeah, but um, I mean, you can almost kind of erase queerness by erasing straightness. Mm -hmm. You know, if you just never have this like straight cis gays yeah. all the queer characters can just almost just be characters because it's like everyone in the film is queer like Rosa is one way of being queer Frel is one way of being yeah. queer um, like it's I'm, I'm really trying to show the, the multitudes yeah. and I, I when I'm doing press for it in Denmark like a lot of people are like okay so that's really uncomfortable is that what the queer scene is like yeah but okay. <laughs> and i'm like no <laughs> i mean what even is the queer scene it's yeah, like yeah. queer people are everywhere from like yeah. nursing homes yeah. like old people and like different generations and different yeah like so many you can't it's absurd to talk about one queer scene exactly yeah, yeah when you look at people there's a variety there already yeah. so just, exactly yeah, and yeah. for me it's like you want to 
if I, I just don't, I think if we don't talk about the way that we can inflict harm upon each other uh, unwillingly, like, and cross each other's boundaries when we're trying to do the right thing, I think that leaves us kind of vulnerable because we have to have a language for this. Because if the language is always like, oh, straight people and cis people are like evil and mean and homophobia is what's the problem, and then poor people are just always together and always being nice to each other and stuff, like, we need to have conversations about bullying and social pressure and yes. feeling anxious and outside mm. in the queer scene too. Yeah, because yeah. I think a lot of people feel that way, like I for sure felt that way when I started out in that yeah. scene. Yeah, certainly, yeah. It should not get bogged down into some sort of yeah. like one-sided, I don't know what to call it. Martyrship, yeah, basically, yeah. 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 Um, and I got to ask about that scene of, of sort of the, the, the plunge in the water. Oh yeah. How, 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 was, to sh how was it to shoot that? I mean, it, How was it to shoot that? <laughs> that's like a night <laughs> shoot and it's probably yeah. cold. And I had a concussion water. when we shot that. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I really had a hard time doing that. I we think, were so nervous. I think um, Levi, they didn't feel that bad about going in the water. They, no, they were, were like, yeah, yeah, just really me. ready. And, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I can't do this. I was. We really yeah, had to so like nervous. practice for a long time on a mattress. Me pushing it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it's I was also, so nervous. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it, uh, it was it was good. Yeah, it was also because we only had one costume for Levi, so we could only do it once. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also, I I've never tried making like a, we had like a stunt a diver okay. in the water and a stunt guy and yeah. you can't just throw a very young actor into water yeah, in the middle of like I, I think it was autumn and it was really cold. <laughs> yeah it was yeah, yeah but it was yeah. such an adrenaline kick for yeah. everyone when yeah. did it. I just remember being like you could do it. Yeah. And like, okay. <laughs> yeah it's also because after I push them in the water it's like there is no turning back. I can't be yeah. like shocked like too shocked okay. because we have to keep yeah. Rolling, recording, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I couldn't yeah. be like out of character, and <laughs> yeah, but it was yeah, um, that was pressure on that. Yeah. yeah, but it was uh, it was good. Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. I just really wanted to do a. Uh, Push someone in it, like it's canals all over Copenhagen, and <laughs> we were talk was talking with my producer about it because I was like, um, well, it's she was had a good point with it being a really uh, tough thing to shoot and a very short thing, yeah. and it costs a lot of money and stuff. Yeah. And, and she was like, can they just uh, hit each other with a stick or something? <laughs> I was just like, no, I want it in the canal. Yeah. Yeah. It <laughs> must be in the canal, <laughs> otherwise I'm not going to do it. Yeah, <laughs> <exactly>. <laughs> okay, and there's also this club scene which feels very vivid and we sort of talked Thanks. about it before uh, before the interview that you actually shot it in a real club and <laughs> it, 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 it was actually during opening hours right um, no i mean we okay. the thing we did was because i really wanted it to feel authentic and i also really wanted it to be like actual queer people mm -hmm. in the club so we we, uh, we rented a club and then we got a lot of free beers and then we just made like an open call to like the queer scene and was like everyone show up support the film there'll be techno there'll be beer and pasta uh, <laughs> come around um, and then like so many people showed yeah. up yeah. it was yeah. so amazing and everyone was so supportive of the film yeah. and just felt very much like they wanted to represent themselves. Yeah. But there was also some random people who didn't yeah. know that there was this guy that kept hitting on me when we were shooting because okay. he thought it was like a real techno party and okay. I was in front of the money so like please go away. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and he was like, was, yeah. come here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm literally okay. shooting a show. Yeah. Jesus. But it was, and we had to communicate with like sign language because it was so loud techno. Yeah, yeah. So I think this was like one more take because <laughs> we were like, I was on the opposite side of the dance floor, and yeah, it was very chaotic. Right? Yeah, yeah, and I, I think it was my first techno party, to be honest. It's also your first shooting day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it was chaotic, but it was, uh, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. How did actually shooting that scene uh, after that feel? Sort of when there's this kind of ruse by by Levy. To, Which you know, scene? Um, the, the sort of sex scene, or okay. the, the sort of burgeoning sex scene, mm -hmm. where there's this other girl and she's kind of, you're making out in a way. Yep. Um, how did you approach that scene? Because that, that felt very, very sensitive in a way, yeah. but then it kind of developed into something else. Oh, good question. Yeah. How, we, how we made the sex scene? Yeah. yeah. 
you want me to start or should you I? You can take it away. I mean, it was really important to me because Anna was only 16 when we made the film to shoot it in like as safe way as possible. Yeah. So I would direct her in ways where there's like two shots. We really planned everything very detailed. There's two shots. There's one shot where you see her face and a slightly where it's supposed to look like the girl has her hand down. Yeah. And, yeah. and the way we shot the big shot was like, she basically had her hand on Anna's stomach, like rubbing yeah, her yeah, on the yeah. stomach. <laughs> and the others, where she's supposed to look uncomfortable, I told her to do like big math yeah. in her head. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, what is 20 times 25? <laughs> yeah. And then we just shot it. <laughs> and she was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it worked. Yeah. <laughs> but you were nervous. I was Yeah. very nervous, but it was fine. I think mm, we were very uh, prepared. Yeah. Yeah. I think we like talked a lot about it and I was I was very prepared. I think yeah. Yeah, and there was no nudity and no I think it wasn't I mean the the kissing and stuff was I don't know was what <laughs> it was a little weird or no, it was fine. It was fine. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Of course it was was yeah. uh, it was yeah, it was yeah. weird. It was <laughs> weird. But it was yeah, and it was fine. Yeah, yeah because and because we like used so much time on like preparing ourselves. Yeah. But if we didn't do that, I don't think it was uh, would be as fine yeah. as it was. But it was um, it was fine. Yeah. yeah, I think it's so important when you work with like teenage actors to really like. I'm very overprotective of my actors. <laughs> yeah. no, so I was. I was almost like too much. Like, is it okay? Are you yeah. guys okay? Are yeah. you? And we spent a lot of like time talking about that scene, and mm. we were also talking to like Anna's mom, and like making sure that everything, because she was 16, you know. Mm. And um, um, what was my my last point? Um, yeah, and you got to see the scene before the movie was finished. Did I? Yeah, okay. when we did the um, post sync. No, yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. Um, yeah. I think. Uh, oh yeah. No, last thing was that I, I did like a thing to make the actors more comfortable being like embarrassing in front of each other. Oh my god! <laughs> At the very first casting, I was like, now we're gonna break everyone's like comfort. So I, I set up these exercises that were just straight up meant to be embarrassing. And one of the things that I made Anna do <laughs> was uh, sing the entirety of Rihanna's Diamonds a cappella in front of the other actors. <laughs> It was so embarrassing. Yeah. I was but like, it worked for that. It worked. It's gonna be nothing you can't show. I think it worked. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. And also crawling around being an animal. Yeah. Do you know how many times that song just repeats? Shine bright like a diamond. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Do you remember what that felt like? Terrible. <laughs> but it was fine. It was fun. But I think <coughs> at that point, I was uh, at that time, I was like really looking up to Levy. So I think it was so embarrassing. Oh, no. yeah. I was just like, all oh, these nice people, yeah. I'm gonna be so embarrassing right now. Yeah. But it, it worked, it, it and worked. Like, not to be too specific, but Levi was a, also had to do the thing and was actually a really good singer. Yeah. So kind of pulled it off very impressively. Okay. <laughs> so I think that made it like even harder that's, to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's not embarrassing at all. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's fine. No, but it, it sounds like good preparation. I think it, it really comes across that the film was sort of a safe haven for yeah. the actors as well as for exploring sort of very complex topics yeah. in a sense. Yeah. I think the only actor who didn't feel safe was the, the reptile. Oh. Yeah, it got very scared. <laughs> okay. They actually well. ran away at one point. We had to like retrieve it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think that's it for me. Thank cool. you so much for being here. And thank you. thank you so much for that beautiful movie. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Okay.